one of China's most significant cities and at one point in history, the largest city in the world. A beautiful modern city with an ugly history. This is Nanjing. The atrocities committed during World War II, the Nanjing Massacre, stands out in its scope and brutality. Yet most of us have no knowledge of it. On December 13, 1937, the Japanese troops captured Nanjing. In the following six weeks, they tortured and slaughtered more than 300,000 Chinese civilians and unarmed soldiers. Nanjing was home to many Westerners. As the Japanese approached, most fled, but few stayed behind. John Rabe is a household name in Nanjing. He was a German businessman and Nazi Party member, best known for his effort to stop atrocities and his work to protect and help Chinese civilians during the massacre that ensued. Rabe was a business representative of Siemens. He risked his life to save local residents who were unable to save themselves. He and a dozen of other foreigners had set up the Nanjing Safety Zone, roughly the size of New York's Central Park, taking in and saving more than 200,000 Chinese during the massacre by invading Japanese troops. This was the darkest and one of the most barbaric episodes in World War II, known as the Nanjing Massacre, burning large parts of the city to the ground. The cruelty inflicted on Nanjing citizens over this period defies comprehension, leaving deep scars. In 1946, Nanjing War Crimes Tribunal was established. On November 12, 1948, seven Class A war criminals were convicted by International Military Tribunal and sentenced to death by hanging. Nanjing, or otherwise known as Nanking, then the capital of the nationalistic China, was left in ruins, abandoned as the national capital in 1949 for Beijing. It grew into a modern industrial city during the communist period and today is the home to many of China's largest state-owned firms. Today, Nanjing has developed into a major cultural arts and education hub of China. Despite being a metropolis of more than 10 million people, life moves at a more leisurely pace in Nanjing than it would in other major cities in China. With its compelling contrast of ancient pagodas and sparkling skyscrapers, Nanjing's feet are proudly planted in both its past and its future. Nanjing is a mega city of manufacturing with a strong traditional industrial foundation and booming new industries. Hexi New District of Nanjing City occupies a land area of approximately 168,000 square meters. It is composed of three 48-story office towers. This is the Nanjing Zende Himalaya Center Building. The multi-use development has an overall building area of approximately 560,000 square meters comprised of commercial, hotel, office and residential programs. Nanjing International Youth Cultural Center comprising of two towers built within a seven-year period. A cultural center with conference facilities, an urban plaza, office and mixed-use areas. The development initially provided accommodation for the 2014 Youth Olympic Games. Tower 1 is 314 meters tall and Tower 2 is 255 meters. Rising from a bustling intersection within the city's CBD, this 89-story triangular super tall skyscraper is the tallest building in the city and the seventh tallest building in the world. Zifeng Tower completed in 2010 with over five years of construction. It comprises of retail, office space, hotel and numerous restaurants and a public observatory on the 72nd floor. Today, Nanjing is a comprehensive transportation hub spanning aviation, shipping, rail, road and pipelines. It is an important gateway in China's Yangtze River Delta to develop a central and western regions of the country. Nanjing has flourished to become a contemporary trendy city 
with world-famous architects, designing everything from community and convention centers to museum, towers, exhibition halls, and train stations. The Nanjing Massacre Memorial Hall was constructed in 1985 on the original site of one of the massacre's burial grounds, marking undoubtedly the darkest chapter in the city's history. Its historical documents were inscribed into the UNESCO World Heritage Memory of the World Register in 2015. The Nanjing Yangtze River Bridge was completed in 1968. At more than 4.5 kilometers in length, the double-deck road rail bridge quickly became a national symbol of technological achievement. Today, Nanjing has another modern-day hero, the Angel of Nanjing. Volunteer Chen Si, helping more than 400 people step back from the brink of death. The bridge spanning over the Yangtze River is believed to be the scene of the most suicides in the world. Nanjing at night is truly magical. China's cities of heroes lights up the skies. The restaurant, bars, and theaters awaken to entertain all visitors. While today, this is a prosperous, vibrant city, in a sense, the entire city of Nanjing is a memorial to the massacre and a tribute to the survivors in the face of unimaginable tragedy. Nanjing is committed to build an international city based on the principles of peace spreading harmony from China to the world. In 2017, Nanjing officially became the 169th International Peace City. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a comment below. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching Reportify Media. I dedicate this video to the heroes of Nanjing. Please take a moment to read and commemorate the names and heroes and angels of Nanjing.